If you're having trouble getting pregnant, you may be wondering about infertility tests and treatments. Here's what you might hear from an OBGYN about your options. First, you'll learn when testing is done. If you're under 35, testing is done after one year of trying to get pregnant. If you're 35 to 39, testing is done after six months of trying. If you're 40 or older or have a health condition that makes it hard to get pregnant, testing can be done even sooner. Once you're ready for testing, your OBGYN may first ask questions about your and your partner's health history. A pelvic exam may also be done. Your OBGYN may then recommend tests for you and your partner or refer you to a fertility specialist for tests. Fertility specialists are called reproductive endocrinologists. They are OBGYNs with special training in infertility. Now let's review some common infertility tests. These include lab tests, imaging tests, and procedures. Both partners can have tests. Blood and urine tests can check your thyroid function, egg supply, and hormone levels. These tests can show whether you are ovulating or releasing eggs normally. Your partner can have a semen analysis done to check the amount, shape, and movement of his sperm. If a problem is found with your partner's sperm or if there's a concern with his medical history, your OBGYN can refer him to a male infertility specialist for more tests. Your OBGYN may recommend imaging tests and procedures to look at your uterus, ovaries, and fallopian tubes. Problems with the uterus and ovaries can sometimes be found with a transvaginal ultrasound exam. Ultrasounds can look inside the ovaries to count the small follicles that contain eggs. Ultrasounds can also check for fibroids, polyps, and other conditions with the uterus. There's also a special type of ultrasound that's done while salt water is gently put into the uterus. This test checks for scarring or other problems inside the uterus. Problems with the fallopian tubes can be found with an X-ray or special ultrasound. The X-ray test involves putting fluid into the uterus and fallopian tubes. The ultrasound uses salt water with air bubbles. Both of these tests can see if your fallopian tubes are blocked. In some cases, a doctor may consider a procedure called a hysteroscopy. In this procedure, the doctor looks through a small telescope that is inserted through the cervix and into the uterus. This is another way to see problems in the uterus. If a problem is found during your tests or your partner's tests, treatments can help fix the problem. Treatment options include medication to treat hormone problems or stimulate ovulation, surgery for endometriosis, uterine polyps, or fibroids, surgery to treat swollen veins in the scrotum. If your fallopian tubes are blocked or your partner has low sperm counts, you can also consider a procedure called IVF. IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. In IVF, medications are used to stimulate the ovaries so that multiple eggs are produced. Then, eggs are removed from the ovaries and then fertilized in a lab with sperm to create embryos. Embryos are typically grown in the laboratory for several days and are then either frozen or are prepared for embryo transfer. In most cases, one embryo is then transferred to the uterus through the vagina. Sometimes no problem is found after testing, which is called unexplained infertility, but there are still options for getting pregnant. You can consider medication to stimulate ovulation, as well as a procedure called intrauterine insemination, IUI. In IUI, sperm is placed in a syringe and injected into the uterus. You can also consider IVF. With IVF, you can use your own eggs or donor eggs. Pregnancy may be possible after one treatment method, or you may need to try different methods. All of this can be stressful. It can be useful to consider mental health support, such as therapy, while you're going through infertility treatment. Talk to your OBGYN if you are having a hard time getting pregnant. In many cases, tests and treatments can help you achieve your goal of getting pregnant.